I have dominion. Welcome again to this second wonder Sunday service. You know why I'm happy about it? Not that we are just saying in the wonder service. It has been declared. You only come to take your own and go. We are not just announcing graduation today. It has been announced. Wonder Sunday has been announced. And every name Adam call it, that is the name they have. Till forever. They never change. You only come to get your own and go. It has been named Wonder Sunday Sunday. Amen. To get connected, to get yours. So others will not get too much. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our scriptural reading for today's teaching, I'll be taking from John 3, 7 to 8. John 3, 7 to 8. John 3, 7 to 8. Say, marvel not that I say unto thee, ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof. But cannot tell when it comes and whether it go. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. That is who you are. Amen. Men need not know how you make it. Amen. All they need is that. Ah, but we get together at the same time. But we join this company at the same time. I is you, you are we. They don't need to hear a spirit. They don't need to know how you are making it. Men don't need to know how this church wants to grow. Yeah. We don't need it. He said, I will build my church and the gate of God will not prevail. Yeah. Forget how you want to grow. Yes. We don't need to know how it want, how this church wants to grow. I think two Bible verses, Matthew 16, verse 19. Matthew 16, verse 19. Then I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Amen. And whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Amen. What a privilege. He has given you the key to lose. We hope I understand what I'm saying. They have been given all kinds of keys. Twelve good courses. With pastor from south, west, east, and north. We have two pastors from Canada. He has given you the key, and that is what we are teaching this world. Keys. If you don't have the key to your room, you can't enter man. No. There are keys to kingdom. I will give you unto the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Understand this morning that supernatural is the natural habitat of the being. Supernatural is the natural habitat of the redeemed, except you are not born again. It's a natural thing. Just like my children, they are natural son name of me, natural last name of me. It's natural. They can't be any other last name in it. It's my own last name. That is how except you are not born again. Except you are not born again. Our teaching series for this month has been Unlocking the Supernatural. Unlocking the Supernatural. That was why I would read that Bible verse. I will give you keys to open the heaven. And our prophetic theme, as you know, is I am redeemed wonder to my world. And this is part two. I said, when God is present, it brings difference that cannot be contested. When God is present, sir, he brings difference that cannot be contested. When God is present in your situation, no one can contest what God is doing for you. Just three names were inside those things that he had been anointed since 2013. Just three names. Just three names. Just three names. Who can contest this crowd? Nobody can contest it. It is not the invitation. It's God that brought you. Forget it. 
It is not because we invite you or we say, come. It's God that brought you. If he has nothing for you here, you will not be here. Take it or leave it. In this present, the supernatural is what reveals the finger of God. The supernatural is what reveals the finger of God. Quickly studio with me, Exodus 8, 18 to 19. Exodus 8, 18 to 19. That, and the magician did so with their enchantment to bring forth lights. But they could not. So there were lies upon man and upon beast. Then the magician said unto Pharaoh, This is the finger of God. Even the witches and wizards, the abalists you are running after, the fudu men you are running after, they are not the finger of God. They understand the finger of God. The smoke you are smoking, the drink you are, the both that are producing, understand that God is. And behind it, they say smokers are liable to die. That is what you want to smoke and die on. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Pharaoh understand, and Pharaoh's heart was adding, and he acting not unto them as the Lord has said. Don't act in your heart today if I call for utter call by privilege. For you not to be destroyed. You see smoke weed. You see smoke, you see drink. You see fornicate, you see human life. No. No. Pharaoh's heart was adding. And the finger of God is present to change the situation. But no, he said no. From today, what God will do in your life and destiny, especially in this church, none of our enemy and your enemy will contest it anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In your place of work, as you are getting that promotion, nobody, not even the board, can contest. How come you? No, they can't contest it. Because you are spirit, they did not know how you are getting it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So today we are considering two keys. We are considering two keys. Number one, the Holy Ghost key. The Holy Ghost key. I said, without the Holy Ghost, you can never manifest as the Son of God. No. Without the Holy Ghost. You know why? Because we are in the era of God, the Spirit. The God, the Father has come and gone. God, the Son has come and gone. We are in the era of God, the Holy Spirit. So without Him, you can't manifest. Sir, many of us, without our car, we can't come down here to church. You want to take three hours drive. Three hours drive. You know how many hours it will be to walk. Without the Holy Ghost, you can never manifest as a son. Of God. I said, Holy Ghost is the most influential partner in the journey of life. He is the most influential partner in the journey of life. Because he will teach you things to come, he will guide you into all truth. Most influential. Ladies, redemption will be a destitute. Without the Holy Ghost, redemption is there. If you say you are redeemed and you don't have the Spirit of God, you don't have, you don't have Holy Ghost. That's a death redemption. Without the Holy Ghost, believer has no value. Without the Holy Ghost, believers has no value. No one believer can fulfill destiny without the Holy Ghost. Please understand that life will make a bundle of struggle. Without the Holy Ghost, you will be struggling if you don't have it. Because He is the one that will speak, speak to you. That still small voice come from Him. Because He's a person. I just treated that in our OB class yesterday. He is a person. The still small voice you want to hear is the voice of the Spirit. That I was in the Spirit when He speak. Until you are spiritually filled, until you are Holy Ghost filled, you cannot hear. And nobody hear and sees it and doubt it. If you hear it and see it, you can't doubt it. It's only a fool that doubts proofs. How can you be doubting proof? We are going to our second service and you are still doubting. 
<laughs> Stay there. You will see. We are moving out soon. Whether you say amen or not, it's not a prayer. It's at you. I am a resident pastor. I'm the one that sees. Yes. You don't see. This is my own house now. I'm the one paying the rent there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Zechariah 4, verse 6. And the angel that talked with me came again and waked me as a man that is walking out of his sleep. And said unto me, What seest thou? And I said, I have looked, and behold, a candlestick all of gold, with a bowl upon the top of it, and the seven lamps thereon, and seven pipes to the seven lamps. And we are in the seventh moon. Amen. Which are upon the top thereof, and two olive tree by it, one upon the right side of the bowl, and the other upon the left side thereof. So I answered and speak to the angel that talked with me, saying, What are these, my Lord? Then the angel that talked with me answered and said unto me, Knowest thou not what this be? And I said, No, my Lord. Then he answered and speak unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by power, not by mind, but by my spirit. Hallelujah. We don't get here by our power, sir, man. No. It is by his spirit, yeah, the Lord. So if you don't have him, you are lost in the crowd. The world is wicked, but only spirit made you stand out. Amen. Sir, man, the world is wicked. You don't need to offend anyone before they hate you. No. You don't need to offend anyone before they hate you. You don't need to. Did you offend any lecturer that tell you you will not pass my class? You didn't offend me. No. Not by power, not by mind, but by my spirit, said the Lord of God. Only God is what makes our life in the kingdom meaningful. Only God, Holy Spirit, is what makes our life in the kingdom meaningful. Therefore, Holy Ghost is the grand commander of the supernatural. Holy Ghost. Is the if you walk the life, the life of Jesus, it's all about Holy Spirit. <laughs> if death was Holy Spirit, how can you conceive when you are going? You don't even know man. That was Holy Spirit. Everything about Jesus was Holy Spirit. How can you die and who, who, who can enter the tomb and woke you up and drive with you up? We read the testimony, communion, communion just raised the dead. It, it was the husband that took it. The wife was not the one that took it. He took it for the wife. Because two are one. It takes Holy Spirit to give me that understanding that two is one. Because one plus one is two. So how can you tell you we are not one? Literally, one plus one is two. So how are you not telling me that we are one? You and I believe it and we are manifesting it. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is the grand commander of the supernatural. Acts 5, 15 to 16. Acts of Apostle 5, 15 to 16. In so much that they brought forth the sick, the sick into the streets and laid them on bed and couches that at the least the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow some of them. There came also multitude out of the city, ran about unto Jerusalem, bringing the sick. I tell people who more sleep. Our spiritual father is not here. But signs are one that is happening here. Amen. Peter, just Peter passing by him in God. Even his dead bring him. By Matthew from Canaan, we is he's not here. He only bless it and give it to us. And we use it and work. Bring communion, bring amenity, it work. So we have communion service now. Where's communion? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we must continue to desire an increase in our level of anointing. The wisdom of the world by the ass of the world is of the world being from his head. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We must continue to desire an increase in our level of anointing. 
we must continue to desire. Psalms 63, 1 to 3. Oh God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. Early will I seek thee. My soul tested for thee, and my flesh longed for thee in a dry and thirsty land. Where I know what I is. In a dry until you are inside that fast and prayer. Desire it. In a dry and thirsty land. Until you are thirsty for something, water will not be sweet in your mouth. If I'm not thirsty now, you give me water, it won't get any meaning. Desire the spirit, thirst for it. Don't stay in one place, ask for more. Because the more I know you, the more I want to know you more. If you are joining with this God, you want to know this God more. This God is sweet, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This God is sweet. I have been here privileged just March and now, this is July. I have tested him in another fashion, another way since I came. He's mm-hmm. sweet. If you don't understand this land that you are, you are missing the hook. It is called what? Green, whatever state. Evergreen. 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 You are not meant to be whole. You are not meant to be in lack. If you understand, God give me this land. The understanding of it. If you are here and you're still struggling, you don't know where you are. When something is evergreen, got to go. Is evergreen in lack? No. So every lack and want, every sickness and disease in your life, drop now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. I've never seen anything fall in this place. All the other three have been green since I came. It is impossible when I came from, we see, we know fall. When we saw every of the three, the leaves is withered. It's becoming yellow. That is sickness. And God that take me out and brought me away to will be green. <laughs> and the sickness will not be part of me anymore. Amen. Understand it. Life will not be part of me anymore. Amen. <laughs> Because until you say it, you will not see it. I am saying it that since 2009 that I can never be seen. I'll be seeing it, sir, man. What you say is what you see. When God gave me the understanding of this land, I'll be saying that no, I cannot lack anymore. Ever green? Hey. I have left ever yellow. To green. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Desire it. Desire it. Because the loving kindness is better than life, and my lips are free. Acts 4 30 to 33. Quickly. Acts 4 30 to 33. By stretching forth the hand to heal, and the sight and wonder may be done by the name of the Holy Child Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together and they were all free with the Holy Ghost and they speak the word of God with boldness. You cannot carry him and not be bold. Look at the case of Peter. When Peter has no Holy Spirit, when that woman, that small girl said, Peter is one of the disciples, she's been denied. But in Act 4, when the Spirit come upon him, the same Peter that denied, the same Peter confronted them. Now I'm happy for the whole bite. Don't try them now. I don't know, maybe next week after they use this week and eat whatever they want to eat and forget what they have done. But this week, don't try them. From next week, my coin can try. <laughs> <laughs> because they are on fire now. And don't allow them to try you next week. So keep it up. <laughs> but they will try you. They will try you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our level of anointing is what determines our level of command of the supernatural. Our level of anointing is what determine our level of command of the supernatural. Acts 10.38 And God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, because God was with him. God cannot be with you and you are like devil to dominate you.
Key number two, our time is going fast. Mm -hmm. Key number two, the key of the spoken word. Please listen. The key of the spoken word. I said, the spoken word will always establish the effect of the written word. The spoken word will always establish the effect of the written word. You know why? Because the written word kills it. But the spoken word brings life. Is there life and death are in the power of the tongue? If you don't speak it, will you see it? If you don't speak what is written, it remains dormant forever. I cannot be sick. If you don't speak it, you get sick. I cannot be barren. If you don't speak it, barrenness will keep it. I cannot be poor because he became poor for me to be rich. So where is the poverty, sir? Maybe you stole it somewhere. Second Corinthians 3, verse 6. Who also have made us able minister of New Testament, not of the letter, but of the spirit, for the letter killeth, but the spirit giveth life. The letter in the world, if you are just reading it, you are not saying it, it kills. Because that's what you put inside, but you are not saying what is written. Jesus himself said what is written concerning it is written. Jesus himself said it is written. It is written. Tell me behind me, Satan. If he never said, Satan will keep following him and keep talking him. Until you speak what is written, there is no power. Until you speak what is written, there is no power in the, what is written, what is in the book. Until you speak it, you need to speak what is written concerning you for the power of the written word to come to pass. Let there be light, and there was light. He spoke it. Jesus himself, God himself, said, let there be. Let there be. Let there be. Let there be. It is written by his tribe we are here. And you see, allow sickness to hold you down. When it is written, 1 Peter 2 24. 2 Corinthians 8 9. He said, He became poor for me to be rich. These are written word, but until you say it, you cannot see it. The spoken word is what unleashes the efficacy of the written word. The spoken word is what unleashes the efficacy of the written word. Until Jesus himself starts speaking what is written, he's still not getting and seeing what is spoken, written about him. There are things that is written about us in the book. Are you just preaching into church every Sunday, Sunday, this afternoon? Sunday, Sunday. Brother, how that is what you mean? She. Not for Sunday, Sunday medicine. Elder Thomas. There is something written concerning you until you search it and speak it. You will remain dormant in that situation. If you serve, it will bless your bread and water. Yes. And you are serving and you are still sick. And you are still in lack. That is, you have not seen it. And even if you see it, you are not saying it. Because until you say it, until you say it, Lady, whatever you are now does not matter. What God says about you is what matters. Any place you are now does not matter. What God says about you is what matters. Leave the noise of men. The noise of men is distraction. But the voice of God is attraction. You cannot make it. It is your noise, but you can do all things to Christ who sent in you. Have you found it? Are you saying it? Because even if you find it, you must say it. You are our father. I can never be poor. I can never be sick. He keeps saying it. Continuity is erased. Once you stop, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. Once you close your mouth, it's creeping. But once you keep saying this, I have one of my mentors. He said for 19 years now, he has no sickness, no. 
You cannot carry the spirit to the hospital now. God will bring go to hospital. No. That is who we are. We are like we stone. He said for 19 years now. 19 years. And me, I'm still pursuing like 2019 now. <laughs> but I keep declaring. Because when I declare, it is what you declare that clear for you. Amen. If you don't declare it, you cannot clear. <laughs> Say to this mountain, be that removed, is declaration and it's clear. Yes, if you don't declare anything concerning you, God has spoken, it will not clear, it will stay in one place. But from today, every word that has gone ahead concerning you in this year of dominion shall come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. A woman in testimony today, 57 years old woman, just got married. 57 years, just got married, he share her testimony today. Who told you your case is closed? It is not you. It is what he's saying in that concept. Not you, like where you are right now. Where you are is no matter. Where he's taking you to is no matter. <laughs> 57 years. I've never waited before. <laughs> Don't worry. Next year, you hear, you hear the testimony as 58. She has given back to twins. Amen. Amen. This is God. And you are how old are you? I say it's, it's as if your marital close is, case is close. Are you up to 50? Even if you are 50, 57, you still have hope. Which of which yours will not be that. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every single in the house that is eligible for marriage from today, that those open in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Divine connection in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Ladies. When you start speaking what is written concerning you, you open the windows of heaven to release the power. Amen. The windows open. Jesus spoke what concerned him, what the heaven has said concerning him, and he opened. Everybody was praying, nothing happened. But when Jesus was praying, our Holy Ghost come down, the heaven opened. Luke 3, 21 to 22. Everyone will be baptized, nothing happened. But when Jesus Christ will be baptized and pray, the air will open concerning him. Today, everyone that is called case closed, your heaven is opening now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Your mouth is the gateway to your destiny. Your mouth is the gateway to your destiny. You know why? Because what you don't say, God is not permitted to release. He will not release it. You know, because he has given you mouth and a wisdom that none of your adversary can get say or resist what he says about you. Luke 21 verse 6. He has given you a power to say. What are you saying concerning that situation? Say something positive. Isaiah 44 verse 26. That confirmed the word of his servant and performed the counsel of his messenger. You are his servant. You are what? His servant. For I have given you a mouth and a wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to resist or gain say. As you say it and he confirmed the word of his servant. Are you not his servant? Yes. You think he's only a pastor? We are all servants of God. I'm a servant. I'm not here for title. If it's possible, let them call me my name. In just for all darkness, forget the word title. We are all serving God. Amen. We are. I see drop down today to many Jews to go and talk to my sister to church. If you allow the pastor to enter, will you drive go and bring me back? Pastor, sit down there. Don't serve. He does not pay pastor. He pays servant. Amen. He pays servant, not pastor. Not elders, not deacon, not choir. Servant. Sit down there. See, I'm not doing it. I'm getting paid. Because that's the only thing I can do to get paid. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Our tongue is a trigger that commands the supernatural. Our tongues is the trigger that commands the supernatural. Proverbs 18, verse 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, 
And they that love me shall eat the fruit thereof. What are you saying after service? Pastor will just pastor will just say, let's say we are rich. And let me just say it. Okay. And you see your friend, and boy, how is he today? I don't follow Pastor. He's not, he's not, he's not well known. He cannot be well. <laughs> you just add it now. You have declared, until you declare it, it will not clear, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Until you declare it, it will not clear. It is what you declare that clear. It is inside declare, declare is. Oh. D E C L E A R O. There is clear inside declare. So declare for you to clear. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Sir, if you don't see it, you can't see it. I've been saying it for, for long and I've been seeing it. It looks as if I'm, I have the I don't care attitude. No. It is what I'm saying. As far as I can see, I'm declaring what I want to see. My spirit man is seeing greatness. My spirit man is seeing success. My spirit man is seeing multitude. If you are one here, the same way I scream is the way I scream. Because I'm seeing crowd. Amen. I'm following my father as his sister. That day I've been shouting before 50,000 came. Yes, sir. On top of his voice. And when I came, I, before now, I, if I'm in a WSL, you see me anyway. If I'm privileged to minister, you see me anyway. I just, I'm, I'm not seeing two things. I'm seeing testimonies Amen. that will announce us abroad. Amen. Amen. And what the privilege won't be just came just Amen. like that suddenly. To the glory of God by privilege to open up the destiny of Washington. Yeah. Watch it. Seven days after this will be, watch it. Watch, just watch and watch testimony. Please yeah. stay in where God has placed you. Yeah. If you are not there, you are not getting anything there. You can't be synergizing here and there. This church, this Sunday, next church, for that Sunday. So stay in the place. If it's not working for you yet, stay in that place. Let them let it be. You cannot be single Jesus. You can't do this one and do this one. Stay in one place. It is in your place that you bring space. It is in your place that space comes. If you are not in your place, there can't be space. No. Please, I beg us. The destiny of this church has been opened. Amen. Amen. Whether the devil like it or yes, it's open. It's open. The day he told me, say stop people from parking at the entrance. The day I stop it, the day we started seeing growth. He said stop all because Monday through Friday or Sunday, I'm always here. He said stop them from parking at the entrance. Because our God is a big God. When they want to come in, there is both in broken it. I need the spirit to speak. He yes, is the big God. When he wants to come in, there's a car park and there's no space. He cannot squeeze uh-huh. himself. Uh-huh. And the day I stop him, the growth starts. Amen. You cannot hear him and not know he's him speaking to you, sir. Amen. <laughs> Our tongue, speak what you want. Speak what you want. Leave what you are seeing. What you are seeing is just for a while. What you want is forever. It's for eternity. We are entering, we are just galloping 9600, 18, 9600 in this place. And this is just 150. And God has been in the place of 50,000 capacity. Yes. So what is 150? Am I the one who's going to do it? No. no. I sleep and snore. Is it doer? Yeah. Is it not me? Yeah. It's not me. If I call everybody here and say come to church, if you don't want to come, will I come and pick you? No. Will I kill you? No. <laughs> you are not coming for me, you come for yourself. Yes, 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 yes. Please get it. Yes, you are not here for any pastor or member. You are here for yourself. Yes, not for anybody. It's a personal race. According to your faith, it will be for you. Not according to the faith of the pastor for you. I will always say what God told me. And if you don't believe me, Papa, people don't even believe so many things that he's saying. So what about this small boy like me? Jesus, is that not, not everybody that believe what Jesus was saying? 
and his part of the disciples. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mark 11, 23 to 24. We have 15 more minutes to go. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to what? To pass. Shall come to pass. Shall come to pass. It shall have whatsoever he said. Whatsoever he said. I have said it. It takes you to say your whole, to have what you want. I declare it. It takes you to believe it. Believe it is receiving. The man that came to share that way got a new job. We did, we saw. I said, if you are here by preaching, I have my father saying it. That if you come to this assembly three months, following every instruction, if nothing happens, go. And the day was the only time you by privilege, small boy like me, he called me. Pastor, can you pray? And I said, let's pray. All do I know. By prayer, it's God we are all calling. And we did, and testimony. And so long of that testimony, God has given us the house. To the glory of God. To the glory of God. To the glory of God. The world we speak creates the event around our life. The world we speak creates the event around our life. I said, if your career is dying, your tongue can bring it back. Because you shall have whatsoever. You see. If your business is dying, you, your mouth can bring it back. Yeah. If your runaway husband and wife, your mouth can bring it back. Yeah. Your children, what children, that is still smoking and drinking, your mouth can bring it back. Yeah. It is whatsoever you want. What you want is what you declare. Ecclesiastes 5 or 6. Suffer not the mouth to cause the flesh to see. Neither say thou before the angel that it was an error. Suffer not your mouth. Don't let your mouth, because of what you are going through, and you don't speak something that you are not supposed to say. I say it's an error. Because it will affect you. Is your word, is either your word make you or marry you? Because at the end of the day, you will give account of every statement you say. Have you not read that in your Bible? You will give account. So look at your coconut head. Your son there will not be coconut. <laughs> Watch what you say. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. John 19 verse 30. Jesus said it is finished. He has finished everything about you. It depends on you to act. It depends on you to act. Stop saying negative. It is negativity that negates your life into wrong thing. Negative word negates your life into all kind of thing you don't want. <coughs> it will turn the scary to a wrong place. So speak positive. I have given you a mouth and a wisdom which all your adversary shall not be able. Shall not. All, not one. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. Psalm 81, 10 to 14. Quickly. I am the Lord the God which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will feel it. But my people will not hearken to my voice, and Israel will none of me. So I gave them up unto their hearts lost, and their work in the wilderness, in their own counsel. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me. Open it. Don't be too know. I know how to do it. No. What you know must show. Until it show, you don't know it. I know, I know my way. Who told you you know your way? Is that I am the way. So how do you know your way? And is the way. Please, let's watch it. Until the world is spoken, it remains irrelevant. Until the world is spoken, it remains irrelevant. From today, everyone in line Again, I said it, a mighty breakthrough. In the next seven days, there will be a divine connection in the name of Jesus Christ. 
There will be a divine connection in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please, always be expectant. Always be expectant. Because whatever your faith can carry, your hand can take. If your faith can carry it, your hand can take it. So always be expectant. Always be expectant. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. All I have said by privilege is for the sons and daughters of God. Fifteen people are in the house right now. That if you don't allow him to take the place in your life this week, may you not regret. May you not regret. You still weed in this house. You still smoke. You still drink. You see for the gate. Someone husband is what you want. Adultery. Please allow me to lead you back to Christ. I beg you in the name of God. 15 people is in the house. Don't wait for each other. You stay back while it's malice all kind. Allow me to lead you back to Christ. All I have been saying about Holy Ghost, the world, it worked for the sons of God and the daughter of God. As many that receive me, they are the sons and daughter of God. You are in the house this morning. All this I mentioned is still doing it. Please, I beg you. I know what God told me. This week is your week. Amen. But don't be like Pharaoh that was adamant. Don't be like Pharaoh. You still smoke. You still weep. <coughs> you still drink. You still fornicate. You still tell all kinds of things. Allow me to lead you out of Christ. Allow me to lead you out of Christ. Eight minutes to go. You've got to go. I mean, the grand, the grand will ask cake to eat. Allow me to lead you out of Christ. Salvation begins with the word. If you don't have the word of God, you are not saved. Don't do church. Do the kingdom of God. Live church is the kingdom they all pursue. Please, again, I will say it for the last time. I will not say it again. And I have said it, the blood is of my head. I know 15. Forget your position, bro. Forget whether you are wearing gown or graphics or not. Forget whether you are elder, decade. Forget. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall we repeat? And just place your hand.